So now let's talk a little bit about post-operative care after in our hands at TPLO and long-term prognosis. The way that surgery works in this practice is patients are able to go home the day of surgery uh, because they get an epidural. They're under a general anesthetic. Anesthetics these days are very, very safe. Uh, and when they're under the general anesthetic, they receive the epidural to deaden the nerves that go to the knee so we can use less anesthetic and then they are able to go home that evening. Uh, so we move from x-ray and epidural into the operating room, do the arthroscopic examination, if all of that fits, then we open the skin about four or five inches in an average size lab uh, to do the TPLO. Surgery takes about an hour, which is about an average amount of time for that procedure. Uh, then uh, from there, they end up back with mom or dad during the final phases of recovery and usually leave the hospital a couple hours later. That evening, our patients are usually comfortable. They're virtually always comfortable, uh, sleepy. Uh, the doctor calls you the night of surgery to check on your pet and here at CCO, uh, the clients are all given the doctor's own phone numbers as well. So usually by the next morning, they're up and moving and doing fairly well, putting a toe touching pressure on that leg. And within a week, they're putting some pressure down and within a few weeks, they're putting a moderate amount of pressure down. Usually by the six to eight week range, they're doing really well, uh, but it takes about 12 weeks for the, for the total healing. Uh, the biggest post-operative problem with ACL tears, whether it's a human or whether it's a dog, is that animals and humans without ACLs have a tendency to develop some degree of osteoarthritis. We feel that the TPLO minimizes that effect over any others, but we, there still is some development of osteoarthritis. There is a misconception that the TPLO actually causes arthritis, and that's absolutely not true. Uh, it's a progression uh, of a joint that's missing their ACL. And again, we feel that the TPLO minimizes that. Unfortunately, about 40% of dogs that tear one side someday tear the other side. And uh, we feel that that number is also uh, diminish to some degree by giving them the best leg we possibly can and in our hands that's via the TPLO. So overall uh, patients that have had TPLO or the ones that have had TPLOs right and left leg at least 95% of our clients would say they do it again their pets leaving a, li living a fun full active life uh, chasing the ball in the backyard, going along on a horseback ride or a mountain bike ride or a run. Uh, and so overall, the prognosis is very good.